violence. Mortality. I should have read the whole book. Hello, I'm Bruce Panders from Total Education Centre, and today's lecture is going to be on the ideas in the novel. And basically, what we're going to talk about as a general rule is violence, mortality, and death. Um, as it says, we used to talk about death, we don't anymore. Why is that? And that's because pretty much everyone in the novel is dead, dying, or waiting to die. Um, it, it's not very positive in many ways. And death is real in the novel. It's close. It's, um, it's seen. It's done. It's personal. Um, and only the boy survives at the end with a small number of people. And I want to talk about that initial concept of survival. And that's where we're going to start. The, the idea of survival in the novel is, is quite complex. And... Um, the Guardian newspaper in its book review said of Cormac McCarthy's work, such a scenario allows McCarthy finally to foreground only the very basics of physical human survival and the intimate evocation of a destroyed landscape drawn with such precision and beauty. He makes us ache with nostalgia for a restored normality. The road also encapsulates the usual cold violence, the biblical tincture of male masochism, of wounds, of rites of passage. His central character can adopt a universe, universal belligerence and misanthropy. In this damnation, rightly so, everyone, finally, is the enemy. He tells his son, My job is to take care of you. I was appointed by God to do that. We are the good guys. The other uncomfortable telling national moment comes Notional moment, sorry, comes when the father salvages perhaps the last can of Coke in the world. This is truly an American apocalypse. And I'll talk about Coke, the Coke can when I talk about language. Another thing that we need to talk about in this text is nature and the environment. Of course, the eco-critical readings of this novel discuss the trout and the stream and the distorted world. Um, there's no true nature left. We need to decide for ourselves, and I'll talk about this in, in the language when I discuss themes and symbols, about how the trout and the stream um, and the destruction of the world fit into these eco-critical readings and where the planet's going and all those sorts of things. But for now, think about nature and the environment or lack of nature and the environment in a novel and the sort of environment that creates for our characters to exist in. Another theme that McCarthy focuses on, and I've talked about this in the context, is, is love of sun, which is the reason he wrote the novel. Um, and you really need to go back to the, the lecture on the context and work out where that came from and the father and son lecture, which is lecture three in this series. I think you'll get much more out of that. And, and I discuss in that the paternal love and the concept of paternal love and how deep and caring that is. Another thing that we could focus on in this novel uh, are the concepts of faith and, and its counterpoint, doubt. I think faith and doubt um, are integral to our understanding of the characters and the it's, they're constantly characters being tested and it's the son's character that has that moral and ethical code that's extremely important. Um, any doubt that creeps into your mind equals death and we see that in the mother. Um, there can be no doubt. The father has no doubt he's on a mission and although at moments he wonders why he lives, he always looks back to the son to get a reason why. Um, there's certainly some religious symbolism in, in the text. Um, it's very easy to read it that way and I think the concept of faith in that religious sense of, of a total belief and total hope that when they get to the sea, there'll be something. When they get down the next piece of the road, something will happen for them. And I think you can focus on faith and doubt in those terms. I think finally, I suppose in, in sort of post-apocalyptic terms, the battle between um, good and evil is extremely significant. Evil predominates in the novel. And, and in sort of, if you look at it in a sort of biblical way, um, Evil seems to be winning. Um, it seems to be an uneven struggle. There's this very small, tiny boy and this big world that's completely evil. And there's very little hope and sympathy um, along the way for the boy until he meets the people at the end that he goes away with after the father's death. It is the good guys versus the bad guys, and I explore that a little bit in character. 
I think you need to concentrate on just those themes, and I'll repeat those to end the lecture. You can look at the concepts of death, violence, and mortality. You can look at the concept of survival, nature and the environment, paternal love, faith and doubt, and the battle between good and evil. I think they're the themes that that are most dominate the novel. There are some other ideas in there probably, but I think those ideas dominate. They certainly dominate the critical readings. And I've put in the notes, in the teacher's notes, lists of critical readings for you to click on for each of those things where you can find all the evidence that you need. I hope this lecture gives you a good starting point for ideas. It gives you some things to think about because that's what it's intended to do. I'm Bruce Pattinson from the Total Education Centre. I hope you enjoyed this evening's lecture on the ideas in the road and I hope to see you again um, at our next lecture which will be on the language of the road and that's coming up very soon. Goodbye for now. Hi I'm Bruce Pattons from Taylor Education Centre and we really hope you enjoyed that lecture on the road. Don't forget to visit us at taleducation.com.au for all your educational needs and some other teacher notes and student notes on the road and many other titles. We also hope you Learn to succeed, that's our motto, and we know you can.